For decades, courts have been injecting themselves into all aspects of our lives. Law schools and the legal profession, as well as the bench, were dominated by liberal orthodoxy, and this was threatening the rule of law in America. The Federalist Society was founded 20 years ago in an effort to restore the rule of law. In the past two decades, the Federalist Society has pursued this mission by engaging in the battle of ideas and by building a community of law students, lawyers, scholars, judges, and opinion leaders who are committed to limited constitutional government, the rule of law, and individual freedom. The Federalist Society was born in America's law schools, first at Yale, the University of Chicago, Harvard, and Stanford. Well, the major accomplishment is to bring back the traditional ideas of the law into respectability, into the dialogue in the law schools, because there was no voice on that side for a long time until the Federalist Society began to grow. You had the beginnings of the faculty being occupied by uh, the 60s generation, the, uh, the rebels, and I think the Federalist Society owed a lot to the fact that the students were so fed up with that faculty, which was really out of control, it, many of them were, that it made founding the Federalist Society much easier. One of the things that the Federalist Society was able to do was to explain why it is that these enlightened people weren't always as smart as we'd hoped them to be and that their neutrality was not as vaunted as we expected them to be. Since those early days at a few law schools, the Federalist Society has grown to become a nationwide organization of more than 25,000 law students and lawyers with law school chapters on over 150 campuses lawyers groups in more than 60 cities, and 15 nationwide practice groups addressing specific areas of the law. People who are involved in it enjoy the debate. They enjoy thinking about these issues. They love to talk about them. They think they are important. They know they are important. And they believe that they have a contribution to make in attempting to resolve them. From the early days up to the present, the Federalist Society's emphasis has always been on sparking debate and on the Constitution. And in a way, the centerpiece of all the Society's work has been to return the legal culture back to an appreciation of and respect for the original meaning of the Constitution. With this battle of ideas reaching its highest visibility in the mid-1980s, with an historic clash between Justice William Brennan and Attorney General Ed Meese. What then should a constitutional jurisprudence actually be? It should be a jurisprudence of original intention. Justice Brennan's view? It's arrogant to pretend that from our vantage, we can gauge accurately the intent of the framers and application of principle to specific contemporary questions. The Federalist Society played a vital role in shaping this debate. A debate that the society advanced to involving the best and the brightest on both sides in the discussion. From my position on the Judiciary Committee in the United States Senate, I have too often seen the text of the Constitution given short shrift or even totally ignored. This debate about judges sticking to the text of the Constitution and not injecting their personal beliefs into their decisions is ongoing and critical. At the very least, the Federalist Society has forced discussions of constitutional law who actually consider the text of the Constitution. The Federalist Society also challenged the ABA over the proper role of the organized bar. ABA Watch monitors ABA policies, procedures, and positions. It has put the leadership of the ABA on notice that they, that they can't suppress dissent, if you will, they can't suppress ideas, that they gotta deal in an open society because this is an open country. And it's had a huge impact. It's been very, very good. And you're going to ruffle some feathers. That comes with the territory. If you weren't causing a little ripple, you wouldn't be doing any good, probably. No organization in America seems to stoke suspicion and dread among certain Senate Democrats more strongly than a group known as the Federalist Society. Democrats appear to regard the group as a ring of right-wingers bent on taking over the judiciary. Could you describe for us your involvement with the Federalist Society and what you believe this group stands for? Far from being a tentacle of a vast right-wing conspiracy, it's about as conspiratorial as a circus parade. Uh, people walk around wearing neckties from the society, of which I am wearing one at the moment. The silhouette you see on there is of the guiding spirit of the society, James Madison. 
So I would recommend that Americans stay calm next week because if what the country has most to fear is the spirit of James Madison, the country's in terrific condition. The Federalist Society has, in so many other ways, been a forum for challenging the liberal domination of the legal establishment. If you look at the present court, I think you have at least one conservative. I think you have several mild liberals and several rather pungent liberals. May I ask Judge Bork a, a follow-up question? Of course. Uh, who are the, the pungent liberals and what is the particular aroma? It seems that the primary objective of the Times legal reporters is to put activist heat on recently appointed Supreme Court justices. Tom Sowell has described this technique as the greenhouse effect. Today you are vexing the dogmatists of the left you are returning the values and concepts of law as our founders understood them to scholarly dialogue and through that dialogue to our legal institutions. We should seek to pare back the victimology that pervades our law and thereby encourage a new generation of heroes to flourish. The terrorists of September 11th cannot prevail in a world occupied by the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, its Bill of Rights, the Emancipation Proclamation, the Gettysburg Address, the Statue of Liberty, the World Trade Center, the Pentagon, the Capitol, the Supreme Court, and the White House. You have changed the debate while gaining the respect of people all across the ideological spectrum. The Federalist Society has been a model of thoughtful, reasoned dialogue. You've helped bring a spirit of civility to Washington, D.C., and even more remarkably, you've managed to bring it to some of the law schools. We are preparing a new generation to enter the public policy process. I used to be just a token conservative everywhere I went, and now I have to share the spotlight with a whole bunch of people, which is quite nice. Hello. Hey, as you can make a good dog break his leash. I was at a social function. Americans for the preservation of family values and white people? The Federalist Society. A hoot nanny.